Crafty Crew. Today I am back with some Project Life. Now, I've recently been lacking on the Project Life and documenting all the recent adventures since I was previously missing in action. So today I am doing a catch up of August Project Life. So if you're interested in seeing some of the projects and adventures I got up to, then continue watching. Now for August, bearing in mind we still had puppy, this layout is very puppy heavy. Pretty much every photo, in fact, is to do with our previous guide dog puppy, Grace. Now as you know, she has now gone to her forever home. But whilst I am behind on Project Life, I ended up documenting some of the adventures we had with her in August. This one in particular was when we took her to a local bowling company. And it was mainly so that we could get her used to the overall environment now everybody ends up going to different environments and so the puppy has to get aware of different senses different smells different colors obviously things that may end up not necessarily frightening her but distract her away from her commands so this was a really good opportunity to test her and that to be honest with you guys, she came out winning. She was absolutely brilliant. So that was really, really nice adventure with the family and with her. And then I also ended up in the month of August documenting some photos that we ended up taking at home. Now, James and I ended up doing our own little kind of, a little bit like a photo booth sort of session. And it was really, really fun. Now, as you can see, this little photo here documents her gorgeous smile and her cheeky side, which which is really really nice and I just end up adding a few enamel dots and some of my roller stamp to that spread just to make it a little bit more interesting moving on to the two photos at the top of the screen now these were the photos that kind of ended up being a little bit crazy so these were the two that we ended up managing to successfully capture mainly because she was quite interested in our gear and the camera and what it was doing and when it made a noise and flashing and bits and pieces like that. And bearing in mind she's at home, it's obviously to do with her, well, relaxing, which was quite interesting. And yeah, so there were some photos that we ended up getting that were quite crazy and she's kind of mugshotting and um, photo bombing, which was quite fun. So that's something that it was really nice to capture. But at least we were able to get two really beautiful photos of James and I with Grace. Quite a lot of the die cuts within this spread are from the Vicky Bootins die cut set, which was really, really nice to work on. And it just brought up some of the colours that were in the photos, which was really, really nice. And you get a whole bunch in there. So if you're interested in that die cut set, I will link it in the description box below. Now the photo of James and his brother Dominic with Grace is really, really funny. Because I didn't have any more six by four spaces left, I ended up cutting it out in half so that I ended up being able to put it in the three by four pockets. But long story short, when Grace is in the back, she always ends up judging everyone's driving. She's kind of got that look, like she's always watching sort of thing. And uh, Dominic's face pretty much sums that up. <laughs> so it was a really, really comical photo to capture. Ending on this photo here with Grace by the Hollywood Bowl star. So it was something really nice to document. And I ended up adding some of the Studio Calico stickers. And that one just says fun and laughs. And they're all like tickets sort of shape, which is really, really cool. But guys, that is the end of this layout. I will give you a bit of a close up. For this particular spread, I ended up using quite a lot of embellishments that have been in my collection for some time, which was really, really nice. So my big tip would be to have them on hand, on your desk, ready to use. Well, Crafty Crew, that is the end of this layout. If you enjoyed me creating this one then please consider giving it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below what your favorite part was and especially if there's something that you guys out there would have done differently 
Now if you're not already a subscriber then please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the button here and if you missed out on my recent video then check out the link just here. Now because I'm slightly behind with Project Life there will be some more Project Life videos coming to you guys out there but if you'd like to catch up on some of the adventures that I've been on then please check out my Project Life playlist here and without further ado I wish you all the very best and remember, be good, be safe, and be happy. See you later, guys. Bye.